On Saturday, August 10, 2024, at 6.34 p.m., Trooper Middlecoff responded to SH-158 in search of a stolen Dodge Charger from Memphis, Tennessee. The vehicle had its VIN swapped and was registered falsely in Arkansas. After a stationary watch near SH-77, Trooper Middlecoff spotted the black Charger and confirmed its identity via the matching license plate. With backup en route, he began following the suspect eastbound on SH-158. As the Charger approached SH-181, the Trooper initiated a traffic stop. The vehicle immediately fled, accelerating to dangerous speeds of up to 160 miles per hour. C30, Jones, I think he wrecked out. Right here in Luxor, he wrecked out. He got fire. He wrecked out here in Luxor. The suspect, Devondre James, was found injured near the wreck. He was taken into custody, provided medical aid and later airlifted in serious condition to Regional One Medical Center. An arrest warrant will be issued following his recovery. On July 29, 2024, at 9.07 p.m., Trooper Trey Smith initiated a traffic stop on a silver Lexus ES250 for expired tags and no proof of insurance on Interstate 630 westbound. The vehicle initially pulled over but then sped off, prompting a high-speed chase. The driver, later identified as Ryan Ward, reached speeds of 123 miles per hour and made several unsafe lane changes on Interstate 430. Ward exited the highway at Rodney Parham Ard, nearly colliding with an SUV before continuing onto the on-ramp and losing control, rolling the vehicle off the roadway. Ward was ejected from the Lexus but attempted to flee on foot. Trooper Smith gave several commands, but the Ward resisted and moved toward an 8-foot drop into an alleyway. After a brief struggle, Trooper Smith used physical force to subdue Ward. Trooper David Robinson arrived on scene to assist, and Ward was taken into custody with multiple facial injuries. A search of the vehicle revealed a loaded Glock 22 and 6 grams of marijuana. Ward was transported to Baptist Health for his injuries, and multiple felony charges, including fleeing and drug possession, are pending. 
The West Memphis Police Department received a report of an accident involving a white Chevrolet Tahoe and a silver Chevrolet Camaro near 714 Ingram Boulevard. Before officers arrived, the Tahoe fled the scene with the Camaro in pursuit. Both vehicles entered Interstate 40 heading eastbound toward Memphis. Officer D. Little spotted the vehicles and attempted a traffic stop, but the Tahoe disregarded his lights and sirens, accelerating to flee the area. At the scene, Trooper Evans noticed a strong smell of alcohol coming from Burns, who was transported to Regional 1 Hospital. Burns was charged with reckless driving, fleeing, driving with a suspended license, and having no insurance. The incident was handed over to Memphis Police for further investigation. On August 25, 2024, Trooper Brian Rowe stopped a vehicle for speeding on State Highway 18. The driver, Demarcus Gooch, admitted to smoking marijuana and provided false ID information. Suspicious of the damaged ignition and mismatched license plate, Trooper Rose attempted to verify the driver's identity. But no records were found. He will help out here for me, okay? Sorry. He will help out here for me. He ain't got any weapons or anything on you, do you?
When asked to step out, Gooch fled, leading officers on a 130 miles per hour chase. The pursuit ended in a crash near Lake City, but the driver escaped on foot. Despite a canine search, the suspect wasn't located and the vehicle, though appearing stolen, hadn't been reported as such. On August 2nd, 2024, Trooper Walker Morphis attempted to stop a silver Cadillac on US Highway 167 for expired registration. The driver, Cortez Johnson, evaded the stop, accelerating to 80 miles per hour on AR-7 Spur. During the pursuit, Johnson tossed a bag from the vehicle, which was suspected to contain illegal substances. Trooper Morphis performed a successful TVI causing Johnson's vehicle to spin out and come to a stop. Both Johnson and his passenger Tamika Clark were arrested without further incident. A pound of suspected illegal substances was recovered and charges are pending with the 13th Judicial District PA's office. Well, in there. Oh, you tossed it? That's cool. We'll go get it. Alright, is that too tight on you? On September 1st, 2024, at 8.10 p.m., Trooper initiated a stop on a vehicle driven by Christopher Tucker for traffic violations. Tucker briefly stopped, but then fled. A successful TVI was performed, and Tucker was taken into custody. He showed signs of intoxication, and officers found alcohol in the vehicle.